Hello everyone. So of course you all know that I'm Ra, the spiritual activist. So today I'm just coming here to do the Saturday sum up. So we're just going to go through the week. So on Sunday we started with the emperor, which is the conqueror. And it's I allow myself to receive. So this is when you're taking your power back and you're doing what you need to do. That was the focus of the week. So then on Monday, we got to the Knight of Wands. And it was honoring my boundaries is not selfish. So basically, we were saying um, prepare for the changes to come. So that means you needed to set boundaries and prepare yourself for things to come in, for things to be removed, so that you could get on your journey and be who you're supposed to be. So then we moved on to the Ace of Cups. And here it was, I know my worth, I do not settle for less. So you were accepting a new beginning and accepting all those changes that were happening in your life. And then we moved on to the Eight of Wands. And that affirmation was, um, I hold the power to choose my reality. So it's basically accepting those gifts, accepting all those blessings that are coming in quick, all those blessings that are coming in fast, and knowing that it is all in your head. Whether those things come in for you and actually work for you, it's up to you. You have the power to choose. So then we moved on to the Knight of Swords. And this one was, I recognize that all of the emotions involved are valid. So this was in reference to someone that was part of a conflict. Recognizing both sides, recognizing that the emotions on the other side are valid, recognizing that your own emotions are valid, and that you have to let go of the ego to find a solution to the conflict. And so just knowing that you are a human, the other person is human, and that you'll have to work together to figure it out. But first, you need to get a hold on your own emotions and realize that you're not the only one in the situation. And so then on Friday, we had two cards. So we had the Judgment card and we had the Ten of Wands. So this one was, um, I'm exhaling fear and breathing in the courage to believe in myself. So basically, you're liberating yourself from fear and overwhelm because this this Ten of Wands is all about overwhelm. You see, this person is all in their head, all these things. And then this person is being freed. They're letting go. Letting go of that fear, letting go of that overwhelm, and just knowing that you can do it, that you can take your power back, and you can welcome in all these blessings Take care of yourself and be the person that you're supposed to be. Step into your purpose. And then today's um, message was all about staying true to yourself and listening to your gut. You're steering clear of gossip. You're steering clear of negativity. You're steering clear of all those things that are not for you, that are not helping you move into your purpose. And so that is how we're closing out the week. You started it out by focusing on taking back your power and being that person that you want to be believing in who you are and we're ending the week by staying true to yourself you're letting go of that overwhelm you are breathing out all that negativity and breathing in courage so i want you to walk into this next week remembering everything that you have been working on remember this journey this ace of cups Remember this eight of wands with all those blessings and just know that you are on the road to your purpose. Your guides want you to know that you are doing what you are supposed to do. So keep going. Do not give up. Okay. And tomorrow I will come back with the focus for next week. Until then, you all have an amazing day and please join me tomorrow. Have a good night.